Hi, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. What's that here? Let's hide it. Okay. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk to you about AI photography. This is the type of photography I've recently became literally obsessed over. I can't stop making photos in this format and I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about my journey so I hope what I'm about to share is helpful somewhat to you but I just wanted to say for warning I'm pretty new into it. I'm learning as I go and I hope you have a chance to try it for yourself and see what's in store for you. So first off, for those who might not be familiar with the terminology or what I'm referring by AI photography, AI stands for artificial intelligence. And as of now, which is in March, late March in 2023, it's like a beta phase. So it hasn't come out in an actual application or a desktop program. Um, so what it is right now is a Discord community, which is just a platform. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Discord. It's just another social media application uh, platform. And in it, there's a channel and uh, the channel is called Mid Journey. I heard about it, I would say about six months ago, and I tried right away with their free, I believe it gives you 25 images. And I ran out of my 25 images so quickly. Uh, but right now, um, there's a new wave of people coming in and you get to see them creating so many beautiful images. So I was just so inspired by that and I wanted to try for my own again. So this time I went ahead and purchased a membership plan. So I did the basic, which is now is $10 a month, but it will give you a limited also CPU, which stands for the data bytes allocation that they will assign you. And it comes with a fast processing. So everything you create within that number it will be fast processed and they give you their own channel. So with the free trial, as you can call it, so with the free trial, you wouldn't have your own channel. So you're going to be in a newbie channel where you're going to be interacting with others and you see what other people are creating. So you don't have your own privacy. So whatever you create, everybody sees. And sometimes it's hard to see where's yours. It might get lost with the other creations uh, but once you do purchase a plan you will have your own channel and you're going to be using that to get to keep track of everything that you do so one thing that i've been asked to do is to describe how this works so it really works with your commands you do forward slash imagine prompt and then with that you start a your description. You can say a still photo or cinematic photo or a film photo or drawing or an anime, whatever you want. Uh, but those are the commands that I typically use for photography. And you say a girl dressed in yellow outfit and you can describe uh, the outfit. It could be a dress or a blouse. It could be silk. It could be a chiffon. You can go as as deep as you want with the descriptions standing in front of a mirror and you describe the mirror it has gold foliage it's um square it's oval so then once your description is uh, done so what i typically do which i'm still playing with it is that i uh, pick a camera one of those well-known cameras and then uh, like for example Canon and I pick out a model out of Canon or Nikon or you could do film cameras shutter speeds you can also pick a certain film if you're using film camera you could use a certain film like Portra 400 Kodak whatever you want and then you get to see what that creation is as of now there is a version 5 out and for that, there is a new command that you could use. So once your prompt is over, uh, you just do like a tiny little line and then V5. And then once you hit, they will give you four creation and four, as you can say, like call it U and V. I forgot what U stands for, but V is for variation. So then you decide which one of them you want to expand on. So once you click on the expand, so it'll give you more details and version five, obviously it's a little bit better and 
gives you a little bit more details. And it's it's pretty new still, so I'm pretty sure it's still testing and researching and it will get better. But uh, as of now, like you can just play <laughs> honestly whatever genre of photography you're into or even painting, you can just, you know, go with it. Uh, there's also an option where you could pick out a director or a movie style that you really liked or a photographer that is super well known and in your commands you can also include uh, in the style of so and so director in the style of so and so the name of the photographer about the punctuation they say use it just like you would write anything in an email so it's pretty standard with the punctuation so i usually use comma and then you know, for example, I said photorealism, comma, and then I would just add something else, whatever I need to, and then comma, and then keep going on. So yeah, that is all I have for now. It's like very short because I don't know much about it. So I signed up for the basic, uh, like I said, $10 plan, and I ran out of space within like... <laughs> three days and you know honestly whatever you can imagine you can create so for me there's been so many creative photos that I wanted to create but it's just been so difficult in real life because first some of them I need to travel so I'm limited living in Texas so um there's not much I can do <laughs> I have to wait for seasons to change and the weather and then finding a specific model that will fit into my creation just finding that alone takes a very long time and some of them for years I haven't been able to bring them to life but just a matter of just a couple of clicks and writing a prompt I was able to create whatever I wanted to. One of my limitations with photography definitely is the locations so I'm usually out and about in nature because I just can't afford <laughs> to be renting a building and so with this I was able to do some indoor photography work that I've always wanted to try and I have been looking around to see what other artists are doing one of my favorite is this artist on instagram has created an entire city it's like a movie it'll introduce you to the whole town it kind of has a dystopian kind of vibe everything is pastel and with each post on instagram he's introducing you a character they have a cat in the town like they have like you know different buildings like the pharmacy who's working in a pharmacy and like you know moving on with the story so i think you know it's just a beautiful new way of creating and i'm i'm just sad that <laughs> i lived so long without it i feel like i would have been able to use this and detail out the process but i dev never had a chance of just processing the storyline and thinking deeper so this has definitely been a life-changing and i'm really contemplating to upgrade my membership it's tough having like limitation when you can have it unlimited well i hope you give it a chance uh, i hope this video was a little bit helpful i'm sorry if i'm not sharing it as much it's just new and everyone's experimenting at the time there is one source that i can give you when you go to their feed they have a feed uh, where you can see like the most liked images and everyone's description is there so you can just keep looking and seeing like what is it that you like and what are the descriptions these artists are using and you could use those commands into yours and make yours even better and make it the way that you want so at this point it's just experimenting trial and error and finding yourself and getting comfortable with your inner side of your brain <laughs> please send me any questions you may have or if you have any tips and tricks in using this ai photography or this platform please don't hold it on to yourself and share <laughs> that's all i'm gonna be asking till next time bye <laughs>